Everyone experiences stress and anxiety from time to time. They are natural reactions to stressful situations. For example, taking on extra work, speaking publicly, having relationship difficulties, or attending an incident. For most of us, the feelings of stress and anxiety pass once the stressful situation has passed. But for some people, around one in four Australians, the anxious feelings don't go away and become difficult to control. They feel anxious or fearful for no particular reason, which may start to impact on their ability to function day to day. This is known as an anxiety disorder. Let me go through some of the most common anxiety related disorders. Generalised anxiety disorder is where a person feels anxious and worries excessively on most days over a period of at least six months. Panic disorder stems from a feeling of high anxiety, often accompanied by a feeling of excessive fear. Recurrent panic attacks are considered a panic disorder. Other anxiety disorders include specific and social phobias. Specific phobias include traveling on a plane, heights, or going near an animal. Social phobias include speaking or eating in public, feeling embarrassed or humiliated in everyday situations. Obsessive compulsive disorder is characterized by repetitive thoughts and behaviors, such as constantly washing hands or clothes or checking the doors and locks. The symptoms of anxiety can often develop gradually over time. It's important to be familiar with the symptoms and keep a lookout for the warning signs, such as excessive worry about common problems, increased heart rate, sweating, feeling apprehensive and tense, increased irritability and sensitivity to criticism, unable to finish work projects, difficulty concentrating or making decisions, not being able to sleep, increased use of alcohol and drugs, feeling overwhelmed and unable to cope, and obsessive thinking and compulsive behaviour. If a number of these symptoms persist throughout the day and interfere with your ability to manage at home and work, consider seeking help from a doctor or psychologist. CFA also has a number of confidential support services you can access, such as peer support, the Member Assistance Program, Chaplaincy Program, and Heads Up, an online toolkit. Remember, mental health issues they could develop into a more serious mental illness. Take the time to find out about mental health so you can better understand your own risk factors, recognise the warning signs and take action. For more information about how CFA can help, visit CFA.